Hey everybody, Dr. Rob here, Facebook Live. Lady Gaga and fibromyalgia. I know we all talked about the Super Bowl over the weekend. The other big news was without question, Lady Gaga canceling her remaining 10 tour dates on her Joanne, smile Joanne, Joanne concert tour because of fibromyalgia. It's very well documented and I think Lady Gaga has done a great job in talking about it. Fibromyalgia is really what I call like a junkyard diagnosis. I mean, it was originally diagnosed or um, a criteria for it back in 1990. So fibromyalgia is you need to have pain above and below the waist in one, two, three, four, all four quadrants. It's a generalized pain and you have to have 11 out of 18 different tender points when you pressed. You also have to have it with chronic fatigue. And that's why so many people think they have fibro because most people in America, one of the biggest complaints is fatigue. In addition, it affects about 10 million fibromyalgia people in the United States and it also affects between three and 6% of the worldwide population. So it's a pretty common ailment. Just remember, again, chronic fatigue, musculoskeletal discomfort throughout the body. I like to call it generalized pain. The diagnosis by the Mayo Clinic was world spread muscular skeletal pain, global pain. Here's a better definition, one that I like. Pains overreacting to pain signals via abnormal increases in levels of neurotransmitter and changes in function of neurotransmitter receptors in the brain. Essentially, your pain receptors in your brain are elevated. So essentially you have a centralization of pain. Everything you feel you're more sensitive to. Just me touching you, you go ow. So you're elevated. So it's really a central nervous system issue in the brain. So with that being said, so many of my patients have come in uh, with this issue. We've had some really good results with the succeeding treatment that I'm gonna show you. Lady Gaga has been treated to a multitude of techniques some of which have worked obviously right now it's not working enough because it's such a physical thing to perform like she does moving around dancing around stage singing for three four hours she's truly unable um, if she's not in really good pristine condition to be able to perform so i'm going to share you my fibromyalgia protocol that i've done with my patients and i hope she's listening and hopefully she picks up some things and maybe implements them so let me turn this around and Let's one, before I get to treatment, sorry, let's talk about the causes. What causes it? People like to know what causes it. Well, stressful traumatic events. In Lady Gaga's um, instance, she talked about some sort of sexual encounter, forced sexual encounter that was traumatic for her at 19 years old. So stress, traumatic events, autoimmune issues. So you know we're gonna talk a lot about autoimmunity. We're gonna go right to the gut. No, we have to fix the gut. The house of autoimmunity, 70% of your immune cells are in your gut. We're gonna talk about toxicity and detox. And finally, obesity. Obesity, obviously Lady Gaga is not obese. Obesity is the idea of there's a lot of inflammation and toxins are in these fat cells and they have more of a house because your fat cell when you're obese is bigger, more toxins get in there. Uh, interesting study back in September of 2015, 73% of patients with the criteria for fibromyalgia never were diagnosed with the condition. There's no hard and fast test, and that's the problem. It's a criteria that you have to meet. Nevertheless, those who have fibromyalgia and suffer from like a fibro fog, I can tell you this, it is the worst, it is debilitating for them. So let's talk about fibromyalgia treatment. As in most treatments, lifestyle changes are critical. Without question, you wanna change your lifestyle. Lifestyle meaning less stress, exercise more, proper diet, which I'm going to detail in full, and proper supplements. Supplements to what? Supplemental to all these other lifestyle changes and supplements for the individual. Functional medicine, which is what I like to uh, partake in. I partake in the methodology of ideology, not symptomology. I'd like to individualize it for everybody. So even though I'm giving you a generalized treatment, it's always better if you and I can meet or you can meet with your particular functional medicine doctor. In addition, of course, 
remove gluten. Gluten means glue. We've said that a whole bunch of times. Sits your intestinal tract, damages your gut. 70% of your immune cells are in your gut. It's where your macro and micronutrients are housed. Also, gluten poses an issue, whether it's celiac, you're sensitive, in general, no gluten. Sugar, sugar is the most used recreational drug in America. 94% of mice chose sugar over cocaine. Sugar without question is toxic. The average American consumes 160 pounds of sugar. We need to decrease the amount of sugar. You go back 100 years, the average American consumed eight pounds of sugar. Gluten, sugar, processed food, they are no goes. In addition, artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweetener are toxic. Not only are they toxic, they damage your microbiota. They also damage your blood-brain barrier. Aspartame has been shown to be a neurotoxin. It could be really indicative of possibly causing you fibromyalgia. Once again, remember, fibromyalgia, a central nervous system issue where you have elevation of pain. You're more sensitive to everything. Ow, it hurts. Ow, it hurts. Anti-inflammatory diet. What's an anti-inflammatory diet? After you adhere to the things up here, anti-inflammatory is lower carb, higher good fats, good quality protein, no crustaceans, no shrimp, no oranges, once again, no gluten, no dairy. These are things that cause inflammation. Super Bowl's over, once again, even though they lost, Tom Brady has TB12. He has a uh, diet plan that's anti-inflammatory, no nightshades, things of that nature. Good foods like avocados, grass-fed beef, and the such are incorporated. No inflammatory foods. Foods can be the potentiator for inflammation. Exercise. There's been studies that shown that one good quality exercise uh, protocol or one good quality exercise day really can decrease your pain and fibromyalgia precipitously. In addition, meditation, relaxation, a great choice. Yoga, a big shout out to Yoga Sean. She told me this was a big one and I checked it out. She was right. Chiropractic care. Nothing's better for the central nervous system than chiropractic care. Manipulation, adjustments to the spinal area and the cervical area and um, the upper cervical area have shown to have positive input on the central nervous system. Chiropractic's origin is based on central nervous system uptake. Central nervous system, your spinal cord and your brain, chiropractic care would be a resounding positive yes. In addition, laser, low level laser, not those hot lasers, not those class three and four lasers, low level lasers. Literature has shown that laser enables the brain to upregulate, really process pain fibers in a proper manner, slow it down. Low level laser would be a great choice. Laser would be great to apply to the specific areas of discomfort because it decreases pain, FDA cleared, increases range of motion. Supplements, let me detail the supplements a little bit. It's older, I learned it 20 something years ago in school, but malic acid is still a positive. Malic acid helps with ATP. ATP comes from the mitochondria. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of your cell. It's based on ATP. Part of the problem with this central nervous system discomfort is that the mitochondria in your body is not functioning as well. So to allow the ATP to function better, malic acid is a great choice. 5-HTP, excellent. 5-HTP is the precursor for serotonin. Serotonin, as many of your neurotransmitters, everybody, are in your gut. 93% of your neurotransmitters, which come up through your gut to your brain axis, come obviously from your gut. 5-HTP makes serotonin. Omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids have been shown to decrease inflammation, help with cell membrane health, Great for the blood-brain barrier. Omega-3s have been shown to help people decrease pain that have fibromyalgia. Two to four grams of omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, are the way to go. We should take it for overall health. Great, once again, in fibromyalgia-type patients. Acetyl-L-carnitine. Acetyl-L-carnitine, again, energizes the brain. That central nervous system, obviously the brain's part of the central nervous system, acetyl carnitine a type of carnitine is excellent for increasing brain function. Vitamin D3, 
we could talk an hour on that. It should be called hormone D. Vitamin D has shown to decrease musculoskeletal discomfort. Vitamin D also shown to put the brakes on immune dysfunction, also helps with muscle tenderness. If you have a musculoskeletal injury, 5,000 I use of vitamin D3 is a great choice. Please take vitamin D, it's a fat soluble vitamin with food. Magnesium, two types of magnesium I recommend. Magnesium one, magnesium bisglycinate. Most Americans are magnesium deficient. As a matter of fact, even though most Americans are magnesium deficient, more people that have fibromyalgia are deficient in magnesium. If you have a drink of coffee in the morning, you're gonna strip your body of all the magnesium, we're gonna all be magnesium deficient. Bisglycinate is attached to amino acid, so it's able to get in, and you can have as much magnesium as you feel you need, or as much as I would recommend for muscle aches. Magnesium l 3 8 is a specific form of magnesium that allows to cross the blood-brain barrier and helps for synaptic density and neuroplasticity in the brain. So we need two forms of magnesium. Coenzyme Q10, take it every morning. Coenzyme Q10 makes ATP. Coenzyme Q10 is the number one nutrient within mitochondria, especially the skeletal muscle mitochondria in the heart. It's a great choice, 300 milligrams a day. Detox. I would recommend you doing a detox from 10 to 28 days. Anybody that has a question on detoxification, I am me at the end. The spring and the fall is a great time to detox. What happens is you're detoxing, you're taking the toxins out of its stored spaces. Number one stored space, fat cells. Fat cells are depositories for toxins. So we all have them, whether we're thin, whether we're a little more corpulent, we have them. We want to get rid of those toxins. Those toxins lead us down a path of muscle ache. Number two spot where toxins are stored are what we call extracellular matrix, everything outside the bone. So they come from our fat cells and go to our muscles. Amazing how they ache our muscles. It could be because we're too toxic. We have too many toxins and they can adversely affect our central nervous system. We need to detox. Everybody should be on a detox program. And finally, not up here, take care of your gut. Because if your gut is permeable, you're too inflamed, toxins will pass your gut and they go through your whole body. So what happens in your gut doesn't stay in your gut, it affects the whole entire body. So much so that it comes up to your brain, passes your blood brain barrier, anything that passes your gut gets into your brain and gets into your central nervous system, hence damaging you, putting you on a path for fibromyalgia. Now, if you like what you saw, do me a favor, share it, like it, comment. Please like and comment together. Don't just comment. Like and comment together. Share this. This is very topical. It's all in the news with Lady Gaga. Fibromyalgia is a tremendously deleterious um, syndrome that so many people have and don't know where to go. Do we have any questions? Nobody wrote a question on fibromyalgia. That's all right. Fibromyalgia versus chronic fatigue. I want to make sure you do that. Chronic fatigue, you're tired. So many people go to the doctor and say they're tired. Fibromyalgia is chronic fatigue and the different tender points, different musculoskeletal aches globally. Remember, fibromyalgia, central nervous system problem. Uh, remember, it's global pain, central sensitization. Natural approaches are still the best. It's a great choice. Look for a functional medicine doctor, but a functional medicine doctor, that's a chiropractor. Since we don't have any questions, you guys always IM and DM me later. We're here, don't forget, every Tuesday at two o'clock. Do me a favor, Instagram's blowing up, DR Robert Silverman, Vanessa wants me to do that. So go to my Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube. Just remember, if you have any questions, I'm always there to help you. Dr. Rob, always yours in health.